I don't see it as me having this gangster thug image. Um, thug life would be more uh, accurate, but it's not an image, it's just a way of life, it's a mentality. I don't feel like what I did was so evil, I just feel like what, the way I was living and my mentality was a part of my progression to be a man. Okay, let's talk about the J Balvin 3 Sunset Medellin again. And this is a part two video because this has been gifted to me twice. And I think that this pair, sent from Kicks for Days, is a better pair than I did last time. And the, the last pair was good, but I do think this pair is better. And I think I mentioned this somewhere in the on foot a little earlier that this could have been shoe of the year, but the SB4 was invented that year 2023 as well and there's no way this shoe is beating the sb4 but it does have a high listing for me as jordan threes i think these could definitely fit in my top 10 somewhere and i think the thing that draws me the most to this shoe is the the quality of the overall shoe and the sunset thing is cool i think that the sunset looks better on this black pair and those black pair look, looks really, really good. I hope they do drop those. It was supposed to come out last year, but they didn't, so whatever. But the overall quality of the shoe is it, it, giving Ama Manier vibes a little bit, but they, they threw that sunset on the back. I know the something about how they did the gradient. I just can't. Oh, my God. I, I, <laughs> yeah, America's favorite shoe right there with the Dior insole. But like I was saying, these are it's kind of Ama Manier-ish with these, how they gave you premium quality on everything but then they just slapped that weird sunset on the back it just kind of killed it for me but i really do love the shoe in the dying resale market this shoe still goes for about 350 to 400 dollars in my size which is a nine and a half i do think well they're not more than this shoe but i do think that threes fit better on my foot than fours do overall i, I don't know what's going on with the fours except the sb4 and for me that's a little weird because chronologically the you know the four came after the three so you think that they would feel better on your foot, but they just don't. I don't know what it is. The threes are just nice and bouncy and kind of soft. I mean, they have a flat brick feel too, but not as bad as the fours. There goes that sunset thing with the insoles. They executed this very well. And I mean, Nike and Kicks for Days. If you don't know who Kicks for Days is, you just got to know. Make sure you follow me on IG. But I think that these were executed well. The concept, I give it probably about an eight or a nine. It's just when they blended that, what is it that pinkish reddish part of the sunset in with the black and i know you got to go from the sunset to the dark that's just how it goes but it it just looks weird they could have did it a different way maybe if they would use like a different kind of purple i don't know it, it is what it is but i love the shoe i still do have shoes coming in from across the water 
and retail sneakers. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you also follow me on my other channel, Colo Tech 383. I'm doing some work over there. Anybody that has their own YouTube channel knows that having a channel is a lot of work. Well, depending on how much work you put in it. So managing two channels with new fresh ideas, it, it kind of takes away from, you know, your original channel. This is my first love, Colo Culture. I still love you guys. I still love everybody. And I'm not even asking for everybody from Colo Culture to go to Colo Tech 383. I know that's a totally different audi audience with like tech and cell phones and gadgetry. I understand that. But we'll see how 2024 plays out. Peace, love, and light. I will catch you in the next video. It might be a, um, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's, it's going to, I got another video coming up. So I'll catch you on the internet somewhere. Peace.